Welcome back. Before we get into the various Inazuma quests we've been doing, there's a new Fontaine event that I wanted to trigger. Seems like it should be a, a blade easy embrace. enough one to do. Probably a simple combat one. But I think I'm going to unlock this nearby teleport point for ease of access in the future. Yeah, let's see what you have to say. What's the deal here, Masadel? You look... Well, that's a bird. What the? It's like a goose, but it had a weird head. Anyways, uh, what's up? Blast! Core output is still too inconsistent. My project is done for if it goes on like this. What are you doing? Ah! You scared me. I could have turned messy. It could have turned messy had I pushed this button. What button? This button? As Paimon presses it. Judging by your look, you're not from. What? Judging by your look, you're not from the Adventurers Guild. I, I absolutely am too from the Adventurers Guild. Damn it. Just because I don't wear the silly uniform that every adventurer seems to wear. I'm still an adventurer, damn it. Did you publish a commission with the guild? No, I don't have the money for that, and I'm no good at dealing with adventurers. I'm just collaborating on a project with the adventurers guild. <laughs> so you basically did hire them. Oops, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Masadel, a researcher with the Fontaine Research in Institute. The project I worked on was the portable mini Pneumosia storage device. What does this device do? Thanks to the combined efforts of my fellow team members, we built the first prototype. Then, well, like everyone knows, a huge explosion occurred at the Institute. I didn't know that, actually. Damn. Is anyone hurt? Is everyone okay? The project leader was, and most of the members of the team, jeez, of the project team perished in the blast. Freaking yikes. Apart from me, there's basically nobody else who can continue the work and push the research forward. But given the turmoil within the Institute, I must demonstrate its value as soon as possible in order to keep the project alive. And that's where we come in. So after consulting with all parties, the Adventurers Guild and I reached an accord. I wanted to use the prototype portable mini Pneumosia storage device as the core to create a pressurized impactor. A pressurized impactor. Hmm. I wanted to use the operational performance of the pressurized impactors to prove the portable mini Pneumosia storage device's reliability. You know, you need to do what other, what all good scientists do and come up with a sufficient acronym. It could be super simple. Just PMPSD would be fine, but if it's, you know, something you can actually say or rolls off the tongue, that'd be even better. But regardless, and I did successfully build the machine and begin operating it. Well, then it doesn't sound like a problem. Yes, other than the machine itself, everything worked perfectly. Oh. Oh, I get a headache every time I talk about this. I have no idea if the problem is with the prototype's design or flaws in the pressurized impactor's method of energy tran- Energy transfer. You mean transfer? The power going from the portable mini Pneumosia storage devices to the pressurized impactor always fluctuated wildly. And that made the impactor's output unpredictable as well. When the output is high, this machine can easily crush rocks. Ooh, cool. But then, but when output is low, even drilling a hole in mud is challenging. <laughs> Yikes. It's a pretty wide chasm of performance. Given the situation with the Institute, it was basically impossible for me to go back and rebuild the portable mini Nemosia storage device. 
can only install an extra surveillance device on the prototype to monitor the strength of its energy output in real time. I just have to activate the pressurized impactor when the output is at its highest peak to maximize the potential. That is way too convoluted. But that's the best and cheapest solution I could think of. What else can I do? Oh, the Adventurer's Guild is probably thinking the same thing. That's why they haven't sent anyone yet. What are we going to do? If we don't have the test data, I can't report back to the Institute. Traveler, if you don't mind, could you help me out? I don't recall introducing myself to you. And if you knew I was THE Traveler, you would know I was an adventurer. I assure you, my device is totally reliable. I even made a bunch of plugins for it that can enhance its various functionalities. Hmm, it won't blow up on me, will it? That's absolutely not possible. I added a lot of safety and monitoring devices, so the worst case scenario that it doesn't have that it doesn't have enough output, an explosion is impossible. Like physically impossible. Not just unlikely, right? And even if you miss an energy peak, that's alright too. Just wait for the next energy peak. And turn the machine on to get the maximum output. Relax, traveler. This machine is totally safe. And, after the test is over, I'll even pay you. Then I'll- didn't you say you didn't have enough money to pay the Adventurer's Guild? Then I'll leave it to you. My future. The future of this machine. And my future place in this project. It's all in your hands. Mmm. Gonna guilt me into this. Well, as long as you're offering Primo Gems. Yeah. You pick your team. What's the gimmick, though? See, the more load you have, consume load to equip parties with a buff modules. The same buff module can be used on different parties. You can use the pressurized impactors within the tests to activate the buff modules you chose. Okay, so standard combat, but with a special ability, basically. This isn't, you know, one of the standard combat gimmick events. I don't have too much interest in these, but I, yeah, I typically do them for the Primo Gems. I'll do that on my own time, though. For now, oh. Hmm. Decent amount of Primo Gems here. Very nice. 160, 320, 400. It's pretty good. A few wishes. Yeah. Um, but for us now... I thought that Hilotaro was running at us. Wait, is that a giant crab the crabs are finally after some revenge is it going to attack me no it's just running away oh poor thing is scared of me I didn't I, I'm, I'm not gonna attack okay I am gonna attack you I'm I kind of want your, uh... Okay, no, I won't. Not right now. I want your... Whatever. I want to find what, what, what it is you have. Damn it, get back on shore. It's not even fighting back. I feel kind of guilty about this. Poor thing. Ah, transoceanic pearls and chunks. All right. Well, like I said, let's head off. All right. We have the Tatara or Tatarami, whatever it is, tails, and then oh, geez, the fog's back, and then the fog. Yeah, Tatara tails, because it's Tatarasuna Island. Savior. Oh. Traveler, things do not look good. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. The Fatui within have concentrated their forces near the core. It seems that they have discovered something. Oh no, please don't cause a, you know, explosion or something, Fatui. Surely they don't intend to breach the core's defenses. No, we can no longer afford delay. We must move now to initiate functionality tests. Functionality tests? 
Yeah, even if we go through with this, aren't the Fatui gonna still be able to sabotage things? Shouldn't we deal with them somehow? By that, I mean that we must test our machine friend's purification abilities. I have no intention of moving it into the furnace only to find that it will not function. To that end, please help me find three Onikabuto, if you will. What? What in the world are you gonna use Onikabuto for? I mean, I have plenty, but... I want to place them near the Mikage Furnace, which will cause them to be tainted by Tatarigami. So you want to make a mutated... Mutant Onikabuto? This isn't out of some desire to, uh, you know, enhance Onikabuto beetle fights, is it? Then we will retrieve them and use this purification device to cleanse them. This is the test I have devised. Where, where do I find these Onikabuto? Hmm. Normally they are found in electro-rich environments. No, normally they're found on trees. I've also heard that they can survive near the Mikage Furnace. What hardy little critters they are. Well, you could do that. But if you were to take Onikabuto directly from the Mikage Furnace for testing... To tell you the truth, I worry about the reliability of my little machine. It is best to work through tests step by step after all. Ahem. Well then. Please help me find three Onikabuto, if you will. I could just take a dip inside the furnace myself. Well... You could use yourself as the test subject, yes. But well, like I said before, this device's reliability may not meet expectations. If something unexpected truly does happen during the purification process, you might... Uh, encounter some unforeseen issues. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's just stick with using Onikabuto for now, shall we? Just three will do. Once you've got them, just bring them back here. I, I have them. How's it going? Got those three on a Kabuto? Yes, I do. Way more than three. I have a bag full of beetles. That should do. Then, yes. Thank you. I should begin tests immediately. Oh, you're gonna place them yourself? Oh. Here, I thought you were gonna make me place them inside. All right, then. All right. Let's move on to... Sea of Fog and the Tree of Rights. Oh, Kama. What's Kama have to say? I mean, Kama was clearly there on the island. Who knows how many years ago. What's the matter? We ran into some very concerning things on Tsurumi Island. Your point being? Well, we'd like to know what your relationship with the island is. It's none of your business. You've already helped Lady Sumida find the Maoshiro, so there's no need for any further association between us. I really want to know, though. Yikes, how cold! Actually, Miss Sumida's commission isn't over yet. She wanted us to continue investigating Tsurumi Island. All right, I understand. Huh? And now he's so willing all of a sudden. What is your relationship with Miss Sumida? And why do you care so much? Huh. Kama is my family's... Just consider it my clan's name. Our ancestor was from Tsurumi Island. Oh. So that wasn't actually you? Just an ancestor who happened to look identical? What? Why didn't Miss Sumida tell us any of that? Gasp. Shock. Lightning crackle, lightning crackle. <laughs> oh, god damn, I love it when the traveler's all snarky. That's because I never told her. But why? Because she's never asked. If she asked, I would have told her. But since she hasn't, I'm simply her boatman. You are a weird one, comma. A really, really weird one. I follow her to ya Yashiori Island to gather reference material. I smuggle snacks from Liyue. I listen to her read books. I think this is a good deal. Wait, what do you get out of this? So about your ancestor. 
My ancestor could not stomach what was happening on Tsurumi Island and left. I mean, if my ideas about what's happening on Tsurumi Island are correct, I actually kind of get it. Kind of agree with them. So he built a small boat and followed the path of the so-called Thunderbird. He went to Seirai, I Seirai, Seirai Island. That's right. My ancestors lived on Seirai Island for a long time. Sometime later, the Thunderbird destroyed Tsurumi Island. And even at later on, it was killed on Seirai. The island became nigh uninhabitable then. So we migrated to Kanazuka. Man, you guys have just been... Not had a lucky history. Kosaki Village and Asase Shrine. Asase Shrine was constructed to suppress the Thunderbird's power, or so I heard, while Kosaki Village was built to house those who had relocated to Seirai to make offerings at the shrine. Our family was lucky enough to survive these various catastrophes, and so we began working in Tatarasuna. And then, that one. Oh, so that island is also... Man, everywhere you guys go... Is, uh... This island gonna be next? The next one to have a catastrophe? Afterward, having despaired of the way in... Of the way in which the... the then inspector acted, my ancestors resigned and moved to Narukami Island. Previously... We, made a t we even made a tidy sum of more on Rito doing business. But by the time it came to my father's generation, we had little to our name but a pile of debts. Hmm. You really remember history very clearly. Each generation of our family will tell our, tell our story to the one that follows. We have a strong oral tradition. I see. It is said that this was due to our earliest ancestor claiming that he had given up everything save for the reason he had left in the first place. Before my father passed on, he claimed that we were the last scions of the people of Tsurumi Island, although that hardly counts for much. We were no illustrious clan, like one might consider the Hiragi or Kamisato to be. Right? The only thing he left to me was a single small boat. Why did your ancestor leave? We hold that it is because the Thunderbird showed favor to a certain child, which the priests then decided to sacrifice to it. <sighs> yeah. Our ancestor could not accept such a thing, so he left. He originally wanted to take the child with him, but it seems that the other party stayed of their own accord. God damn it. That must have been really that must have been really hard for him. So the unnatural occurrences on the island. It very well might just be straight up haunted. They must be the result of a very large scale ley line disorder. It is said that the sound of Surumi Island being destroyed could be heard all the way from Seirai. Damn. Was the Thunderbird really that powerful? Sounds like the Thunderbird was kind of pissed that the Villagers tried to sacrifice the child it had taken favor to. Or rather, successfully sacrificed it. Considering that it could reduce Seirai Island to such a state. My father did take me to Surumi Island once to see where it all began. Apparitions of the past would appear amidst the sea of fog, illusions replaying past events. Namely, the final ceremony held on the island, albeit one in which the flow of time is all wrong. Yeah, except here's the thing. That, those illusions replaying past events, well, at least part of them are interacting with us. The bulk of them don't, but part of them absolutely are. The Thunderbird then destroyed Surumi Island, resulting in a great storm, and then it started all over again. So that's the reason why the people, why those people didn't take any notice of us at all. 
Because they were all illusions of the past? How bizarre. Yeah. I kind of wonder if the whole darkness that they were talking about did actually exist at the time. And it's simply deceded or dissipated by now. There is no meaning in speaking to the islanders. They are simply shadows created by the ley line disorders. Except the kid, though. It's not that simple, I swear. However, there is one exception, which is the child who was the offering to the Thunderbird. I believe this to be the Rue you spoke of. Exactly, thank you. But, but, that means you've got to save him. Paimon, if this is all true, the child is long dead. I wouldn't worry about this. They are all ultimately illusions created by, ley, by the ley lines. Yeah. No wonder the Maoshiro disappears. Huh. So the whole ghost Maoshiro thing Miss Sumida talked about was true. I mean, we experienced it ourselves, Paimon. But never mind all that. Paimon thinks we should at least try to help Rue. I mean... I would be lying if I said I didn't want to try, even though I think it's impossible. Few things are worse than child sacrifice. Uh. Even if he is an illusion, he's still Paimon's friend. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter to me either way. I have no love for Surumi, nor do I have any other... Nor do I have any for my father's talk of bloodlines and history. Hmm. What is the deal with you and Sumida? That's another question weighing on my mind. Hmm. If I were Lady Sumida, I would say something like, If the cycle of the Sea of Fog can be broken, then that history may also be ended. Hmm. It'll sell well for sure. Ha ha ha. Very funny. But you... Or no, okay, that was more of a ha-ha, very funny. But you didn't laugh. Really? I did, in fact, find it quite interesting. Oh, well, sure. Either way, thanks for telling us all this stuff, comma. Lady Sumida commissioned you. I've said enough, I believe. Seriously, what is your deal with Sumida? It's time to go looking for Rue. Yeah. Oh, that talking has tired me out. Best of luck to you. Power of the Thunderbird. A god slain by the Shogun herself. Actually, I suppose the Shogun has slain two gods. I wonder if all the islands originally had their own gods. I mean, well, we know of at least three. The Shogun, the Thunderbird, Tsurumi, and then I forget the name of it, but the Watatsumi one that died on Yashiori. And yeah, it seems anywhere a god has died results in mass chaos in that region. Speaking of which, that's another quest we're going to need to do at some point. Not sure where the start for it is, but... Oh, ho! Looks like Roald's here, too! Why? Why, hello there, Alice. Where is he? Oh. Is that Roald? What are you doing here? Oh, so you're still on this island as well. That's great. Have How have you been lately? Any shocking discoveries? Let's hear them, shall we? Hmm. Nothing earth-shaking, I'd say. Not yet. Ah, uh, but that's normal. Don't sweat it, I'd say. Islands like this never lack for mysteries. I have full confidence that you'll stumble upon something eventually. Actually, Pilot's got a question. What are you doing here, Rod? Me? Oh, I was just packing my things and preparing to leave. The fog here is too bizarre. Step into it for a bit, and you lose your way. Before you note, you're right back where you started. Yeah, but you have to go through the gate. 
I had forgotten the path that Kama pointed out to, out to me before, so I tried looking for some natives to show me the way, but I couldn't find any path no matter how I tried. I compassed the shadows on the ground. None of these help in uh, telling directions here. I've even tried using my shoes, but nope. I couldn't take a single step further into the fog. Yeah. The Thunderbird's power remains. Your shoes? He means you that he used them as way markers. What? <laughs> as expected of you, Alice. You were well versed in adventuring tricks, indeed. You've got much to learn, Paimon. Yeah, she does. But she's getting there. Uh, for now, though, she is still in the role of emergency food. Eventually, she might be upgraded. Yes, much to learn you have, Paimon. <laughs> Why is this intentionally talking kind of like Yoda? Oh, come on. That's just called tri trying your luck. Paimon doesn't have to learn that. Either way, my progress has ground to a halt. Oh, if I had tied a rope to a nearby tree and tried to advance while holding on to its other end tightly, I could probably have made a few more attempts. So why didn't you try again? I used up the backup shoes that I had brought along to help tell which way I was going. So they were one and dunsies, huh? Well, they shouldn't have been, but I, uh, I threw too many of them and kept forgetting to retrieve them, so... I ran out over time, you know. So am I going to find a bunch of shoes lying all over the place? Wait, that's right. I finally remembered. I've got something to ask of you. Well, well, what a surprise. Uh, 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 sorry. What do you mean a surprise, Paimon? He hasn't asked anything of us before, has he? As you know, I have a rather shameful habit of constantly forgetting things. My poor memory has gotten me into hot water more than a few times, especially since I'm an adventurer and all. And one of my goals for coming to Surumi Island was to collect something known as fluorescent fungi. I already have that. According to Sango, these fungi can help uh, improve one's memory and relieve strain on one's brain. It's said that they can even improve visual acuity. Really? Hmm. The last time, I wonder how true that is. Last time I came here with Kama, I was so preoccupied with meeting the locals that I forgot to collect any. Oh. I also didn't expect that I would encounter so much trouble after coming to the island on my own. It's a real shame. So, if you still have adventuring plans to, in, in this area, could you help me pick a few of these fluorescent fungi? Alright, just don't forget about me when the time comes. Ah, ah, I won't, don't worry. How many do you need? Hello there, Alice, and hello there, Alice's Gabby fairy friend. <laughs> That's a good one. And hello, and hello to you too, Mr. Forgetful. Come on, Paimon, you should have a more biting nickname than that. Paimon is Paimon. Don't you forget that. I won't, little Paimon. Alternatively, you can call her Little Lavender Melon. Wait, were you just playing, Paimon? Where did your manners go? <laughs> you know what? You know what, Alice? Just give this guy those weird mushrooms already. I was not talking to him. So will this be enough? Hmm, ten of them, huh? I need quite a few. Hmm, this should be enough, yes. Thank you ever so much. By the way, if you find anything interesting near the island ceremonial site, do give me a shout as well. Hmm. Ah, yes. I do believe that you have a Fontaine-built camera with you, right? That's a rather expensive gadget, to be sure. I should really get myself one of those, should my budget allow. Oh yeah, very useful. But what are you actually looking for? What kind of weird thing? I've heard local historians say that the ancient natives of Surumi Island would use paintings to depict ancient, now unremembered history onto the rock walls of caves. Huh. Okay. What about it? And that most of these murals have lasted over a thousand years now. 
Yeah, cave paintings typically last a long time. I think. Or at least they can. During my previous trip here, I was able to catch a glimpse of these images by ceremonial firelight. They occupied my thoughts for several restless nights, and were most hard to forget indeed. I don't believe that anyone has ever witnessed the murals in full, but if you could bring back proof of their existence, this would will surely constitute a major breakthrough for the Adventurers Guild in the field of historical academia. I, I would be willing to contribute to history, sure. If you find those legendary murals, take as many clear pictures of them as you can. I will purchase the photos from you and for use in my diaries for a fair price and reward you for your trouble to boot. Alright. I think I might know which cave you're talking about, in fact. It's the one with the gems that I need. Or whatever they were, the tablets. What do you say? Is this arrangement acceptable? As long as you don't lose your diary again. Oh... I'll try my best. <laughs> you know, Paimon, he's a real fun guy. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Paimon. All right, where? There it is. It's like last time, we should be able to find him as long as we go through this gate. Let's hope we're in time. There we go. Oh, fog's back there. Interesting. Didn't we take care of that already? They did say it's out of order, though. Rue, where are you? Who's not here? Maybe he's deeper inside. We need to find him, and quick! If not, the Islanders are going to sacrifice him to the Thunderbird! According to what Kama said. Yeah, Paimon knows that all the things happening here are illusions that constantly repeat themselves. But if that's the case, doesn't that mean that Rue's been sacrificed to the Thunderbird Archon only knows how many times? Ooh. Oh god, I don't like thinking about that. Paimon, damn it. That's... that's just too sad. We've got to help him, no matter what. You're right. I think it's about time that this island is dispelled of the fog once and for all. The Thunderbird is long dead. It's time to lay all these souls to rest. I'm guessing that it's right near the, um... The, um... First tree that we found originally. Today is a lucky day. Yeah. It's like right up here, right? There he is. Yep. It's... No, wait. It was an illusion, wasn't it? It's the same group. Same event. Got to fix the tree. Isn't Rue lucky? No! Rue is terribly unlucky. Don't be silly. Sorry. And the fact that I'm the only one doing work over here makes it worse. That's Ipe and Makiri. Looks like they're making offerings to the perch. Oh, Paimon has an idea. What a coincidence. So do I. What's your thought, Paimon? They said that the perches are, are key to the ceremony, and so people need to make offerings there and protect them. Well, the ceremony won't be able to continue if we destroy the perches, right? Hmm, but they're illusions of the past. Well, even if that's so, don't you think it's worth a shot? Since these islanders love their Thunderbird and Purchases and stuff so much, let's just give wrecking them a go. Hmm, I guess it's worth a shot, but I don't have anything to destroy a tree with. Do you have an axe, Paimon? They said that these Purchases contain the Thunderbird's power, right? Maybe they'll react if we blow them away. Maybe. All right. Sakura swirl. There we go. Uh oh. I don't think it likes that. 
seems like stuff just flew by. It's behind one of them. Let's get looking, sure. I mean... What is with these orbs? Oh, hello. Oh, I can destroy them. Can destroy these ones too. There's one more. There it is. Or two more, I guess. Come on. Take flight. Solidify. Don't mind if I do. Come on. There we go. Uh oh. Rip wolves. Order guide you. There is no escape. Here we go. All right, any more? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's this way. Sit up above. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Here we go. Let's destroy the perch once more. Damn it. There we go. Illusion shattered. Excellent. And it dies. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> Goodbye, perch. That's one way to get rid of the fog. Oh, it works! It really works! Come on, let's go get the rest. I don't think these guys are probably happy. Perch, what's going on here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Screw anyone who would sacrifice a child. Let's see. No easy teleportation. Shoot. I guess we'll have to go the hard way. There's the perch. I see you. Jirai Shrine. Second verse sim is the first, right? No one's here. There is no escape. Oh, this one feels weaker. Maybe. All right, and spits out its power, of course. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I guess it's fine, though. Wait a minute, I just heard a... The sound of a, um... Electroculus, though. Not that I can 
see it or anything. There we go. Hey. Stabilize. Shine down. Whirling snow. There's one right over here. It must be above. Yeah, there it is. Also immune to non-elemental attacks, or I guess non-reactions. Side or above. There's one. Ah. My Guys, why are you hanging around the Thunderball? Oh, hey, this mage. Where did you go? One man's stone is another man's gem. Whirling snow! Here we are. Where was that last one? There it is. Wait, was it right next to the tree? Huh. Some of those must be crits. Excellent. Two more to go. Can't imagine the Thunderbird's gonna be too happy about this, though. Granted, it's fake, so... I don't know if the illusion that Leyline Disorder Thunderbird can hurt us, but, well, it is a former god, so I guess we should be careful. Hmm. I could have sworn I heard the sound of a Electroculus when we were flying here, but I guess not. All right. Next tree. There is no escape. Surprisingly, nothing really is coming to stop us. Hmm. Uh, the rest are below. Yeah. There we go. Um, this one's gonna be easy to do. No. Take flight. There we go. Are actually smaller than those, I think. Solidify. Illusion shattered. Ha! All right. Now you shall perish. Nice. She is quite strong when she's in her burst. Damn it, where are you though? You made me waste it. There is no escape. My apologies. Get over here, you. Ah! Out of. S stop! 
doing that, you jerk. I was out of stamina. I couldn't follow you. There we go. Okay. Where's the other one? Is it up above? Must be. Or it's through there. No, no, it's got to be up above. Trouble some Paimon. Especially when he can't see. Well, where's the. Uh, I could have sworn that took us higher. I guess not. about this. Perfect. Hey, I think this is where they uh, wanted us to take a picture. Some great shots. Three. Of course, Zhongli's in the way. Um. Well, that's three of six. I think I know where the other ones are, too. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, this makes me want to try her hand at drawing, too. Okay. And then the remaining ones should be right through here, I think. Right? Yeah. Right there, and... Um... Wait, where's the last one? Hmm, you know what I haven't actually done, I don't think? Ah, well, well, well. Let's see. One, two, three. I hope there's no order. Damn it, there's an order. Um, is there a hint here somewhere? Maybe. I mean, these stars are kind of in the same placement as those. One of them is not shaded. That could be either be the last or the first one we need to do. Okay, let's try. Nope. There's one star behind here, right? Hmm. The wind is blowing that way, maybe loops back around. Might have already tried it like that, though. Oh, hey. Does this uh, drain that, I wonder? I wonder if that's where the last mural is. I mean, this one had a similar puzzle, and yeah, a different number of 
you know, different stars colored differently. Hmm. And I can't actually see what color that one up there is. Maybe get those two first, and then the other three. Are the opposite. Ah, I see. Those three have to be lit up. Those two can't be. Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. It is. Oh. There we go. Kind of getting distracted here, but worth it. Illusion shot. Stabilize. This is order. Sakura swirl. Take that. I imagine this is where that. Oh hey. So that door is probably gonna open if we can complete this challenge, right? There is no escape. Hello. You mind? She's actually really weak right now, but Inazuma shines eternal. Illusion shattered. Take flight. There we go. Oh, big one. Gather. I will have order. There we go. And the door opens, just like I thought. Now, Meryl isn't here, but I imagine we're gonna find... Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. What is this? Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. Oh, it's just this room. Never mind. Stabilize. It seems mostly, uh... I was expecting it like an electroculus or something there. Unless that maybe got us the final slab or something. Oh, hey, a bird. Oh. Nice. Still don't know where that final Merle is, but, uh... Oh, hello, bird. What'd you get me? Did I just light these up? Yeah, but I don't know the actual combination. Ah, right. Here we are. One. Two. Oh, we need a good two more of them. Three more of them. Shoot. Oh, well. I don't see a Merle in here either. Oh! Another one of these. Aha! Solidify! Uh, yeah. I can clearly see you're supposed to be alive. Certainly <gasps> worth the, the gem. Effort. I finally found it. Take flight. There is no escape. Ha! Torn to oblivion. Nice. I was here looking for the Meryl, but it's even better. Oh, hello, bird.
Yeah, that one's not activated for some reason. But hello. <gasps> the final Merle? Where are you looking? Come on, where did you see it? What's stuff drawn on the walls? Is it up above? Oh, it is. There we go. All right. Um. Hmm. A bunch of Sealies here. Wait, are you attracted to me? Apparently so. Oh yeah, I'm electrified right now. go then voila fantastic take hey. them i have no need excellent now what's this puzzle up here i imagine this is a part of another puzzle shoot um Not just a chest. Take them. Another starship gem. No Did I need one for every wall? I might have. Oh wait, no. There it is. Okay. Let's see. At least we know how this puzzle works now. Um. So. One. Really, just one of them lit up. one is that though it's a group of three wait no a group of four and two of them are lit no wait only only two of them are not lit up so and it's in the group of four and I think it's uh two at the top get activated? No, you did not. That's too bad. Any special goodies through this window? I swear, were those, were those birds show up on the wall before? <sighs> How I would love to get through you, but I need a... Say nothing activated, did it? In, in fact, did not. Oh, it was you. Hello. Nice. And there was one over here that I might have already gotten. But I'm going to double check. Yeah, I think I already got this one. Well, I found a bunch of goodies in here. How many pearls did I need? Starship gems. Just one more, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'll bet you it's somewhere in this whole place. Maybe, uh... Some bird statue or another. I haven't seen. 
All right, we're going to go back to that later, I think. Um, oh, hey, that's a normal chest. How did I miss you? Order Gaichi. Shine down. Kamisato out. Sumetsu. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to find any real normal chests out in the open. There is a... You know, I think I searched endlessly for this Electroculus last time we were here as well. Inside there, is it? No. Shoot. It's not up above. Doesn't look like it. It's probably down below then. Well, oh hey. That's new. It's like a totem pole, but like a rock. Wait, no. It's definitely new. Very nice. Does this interact with the bird power? No. Aha, bird. I bet this one get, lets us get inside somehow. Damn it. You leave me alone. You shark. And then it runs away. Is it coming back? You jerk! Embrace the ice. Illusion shattered. I will have order. Whirling snow. Where you go? There you are. because that stupid wolf. There we go. Oh. Um, is there a... Yes, there is. A barrier. Finally got that one that was so elusive. All right, might as well get you two. Escape. Sucker a swirl. Torn to oblivion. <laughs> Very nice. I think they're weak to her electric attack. Her burst. really where we need to be, but I don't think we've gotten this stuff before, so. Oh, yeah, see you, Seely. Shine down. Ha. At wedding, you guys. It turned out to be your downfall. Healing? No, good. Get out of there. You're attacking the torch instead of the slime, silly. Where do you go, silly? Ah, there you are. 
Uh, okay, you're going that way. I'm going to go ahead and get this chest that was over here first. Is there one more? No, but it's purple. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. There is one heli churl left. Hey, buddy. Illusion shattered. There we go. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Okay. Yes, this seems uh, Oh, they're uh, ruin enemies. That might have been a puzzle over there or something. Silly. Ah. I shall treasure this good fortune. And you led me to another puzzle, huh? Um. Well, we definitely gotta destroy these. Come on. Shoot. <laughs> Damn it. Um There we go. Okay, so they do not attract those. Good, but there is a problem cuz I to get that one I feel like I got to get too close to that one. Ow. Shoot. Maybe that'll help. Um, let's also heal. There we go. Another man. That was a little tricky. Alright, now we gotta get all the way back up there, damn it. Here we are. The tree, at last. Distracted, but time to finish this up. There is no escape. Hey, stop disappearing on me. And they don't even give me the claws, too. Complete inconsiderate jerks. See, at least these hillatrolls. Wait, no, I spoke too soon. Only one of them did. Sakura swirl! Shine down! There's another uh, Electroculus around here. Ooh, big wolf. Solidify, order guide you. Illusion shattered. Whirling snow. Now you shall perish. It is really powerful. Oh. 
I have no need. And one more. Truculus, it was just those things. Thunder spheres. Last tree down. But, well, Thunderbird, what do you have to say to your perches being destroyed? That should be all those perches. Let's hope that's enough to stop the ceremony. Well, let's just hope so, eh? We've got no clue where Rue is. Hmm. Well, if we want to be sure that we've disrupted the ceremony, we should go to the ceremonial site. Huh, that's right! Rue always wanted us to take part in that ceremony. Yeah, he wanted us to watch him be sacrificed. I don't know if he fully understands what the ceremony is or not. Let's hope it doesn't end the same way this time. Let's hope. Next time. When we... Well, find out if we were successful or not. I doubt it's that simple, though. But we'll see. <laughs>